Good morning, ladies and gents. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2016 on a 16 plate. It is the Peugeot Boxer 2.2 HDI Professional. This is a Euro 5 vehicle, um, but it is emissions zone some compliant. So it isn't, uh, it isn't compliant for uh, ULES, um, but it is compliant for the emission zones in Birmingham, Bath, Bristol, etc., etc. We have double checked that for you, okay? Um, bizarre. I have no idea what, what idea why it is for one and not the other, but that's just uh, that's just the motor trade for you, I'm afraid. Now this is a one keeper from new vehicle. It has covered a warranted fifty-two thousand miles from new. We will obviously prep it as we do with all of our vans, so you'll have a fresh twelve months MOT uh, service that includes oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, and pollen filter. Uh, we do a brakes check on it as well, as well as another 110 points of other checks that we do to the vans before they go out the door, including an electronic health check with a diagnostic system. You get a three month warranty included as standard, which is upgradable up to three years. So speak to us if you want details on that. Now, the purpose of our videos is to give you warts and all video walk around of the vehicle. So you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying and then you can make the informed decision whether this is the one for you or not. Um, now, let's get started, shall we? Let's have a look up here. Now, we all start up on the roofs. This van does have a fairly substantial ergorack.com uh, rack system on it. Um, I bet that's a few quid if you want to buy it new, isn't it? If you don't want it, it is removable, okay? Just normal roof rack stuff, so it is up there. Um, I have just noticed as we've gone along, because it's very difficult, obviously, from this angle, that you have got a little wee dent there, look, just up on the top of the roof there. But other than that, it's pretty straight, to be honest with you. We come down onto the windscreen. Now, the, we've got a couple of blossom trees at work, okay? They are currently disposing of all of their blossom over every van that we've had valeted. So, excuse the little bits of dying blossom on the vehicle. Um, but windscreen, there are a few minor stone chips on the windscreen. I don't think any of them are going to be MOT failure stuff. Um, what I'm talking about is a couple there. I don't know whether you can see those. Obviously, we'll be putting it in for a fresh MOT before it goes out the door. So if there's any issues, we'll end up having to bang a screen in it, won't we? Coming down to the front of the vehicle, your bonnet is in good all-round condition. They're not particularly known for chipping up, to be honest with you, these things. You will just have a few minor little marks. So we've got just a little minor mark there, which to be fair is fairly easily touchable in. And then the rest of the front of the van, your front grills, front of the front bumper, all looking pretty good. Bits of blossom on them, but um, all pretty good. Your passenger side headlamp unit, that's in good order. And your passenger side front bumper corner is in good overall condition with no major scuffs. If we look down the side profile of the vehicle whilst I'm down on my old knees, um, hopefully you can see no major dents or dings to it. Um, all looking pretty straight and tidy, to be fair. And if we just finish the front end off with your driver's side headlamp unit, that's all looking good. And your driver's side front bumper corner again, that's all looking good with no scuffs either. And again, let's look down the side profile of the van. You can see no major dents or dings on the driver's side either. Couple of things to note, you can see a bit of reflection in the white paintwork there, so it shows it's had a little bit of love in its time, hasn't it? So there's still a nice polish finish to it. Your driver's side front wing is all in good order. Uh, yes, that is just a bit of dead blossom there. Uh, your driver's side steel wheel, elements of corrosion on the steel wheel. You have a Goodyear tire on there. That tire has loads of tire tread depth. So that's all looking good. Your mirror case, miraculously for a boxer, isn't battered to death. Uh, integrated indicator is all good and your upper and lower mirrors are all good as well. There is a little minor crack there that looks like somebody has glued it at some point, but it's all nice and secure, okay? Driver's side door glass, that's all looking good. Uh, and your driver's side door on the whole, pretty neat and tidy. Let me just stand back and give you an overview of the driver's side of the vehicle you can see. It's a respectable looking van, isn't it? Now, moving in closer, your mid quarter in good overall condition. Getting down low, check out your seals. Those are in good condition as well. Now there is just the typical boxer. I was gonna show it to you when I do the inside, but you still, your seal there for the, um, your seal, your painted seal 
always gets hit by your boots getting in and out. They always wear through to the metal. Uh, we can get that painted for you. That's not a major drama at all. Rear quarter, that's all looking good. Lower rear quarter is all looking good. That is a little bit of blossom there on the body, okay? Um, and your driver's side steel wheel. Again, minor elements of corrosion, but not too bad. You've got a Continental tire on the back there. Obviously, the fleet manager of this company didn't mind spending his money on tires, did he? So you've got Michelin on the front. Oh, sorry, Goodyear on the front, Continental on the back. Rear quarter. You've got a bit of hedge rash here on that plastic panel, all right? There's no denying it. If I'm honest with you, it's not really standout stuff. Um, but it is there, so we'll point it out to you. Now, just giving you another viewpoint of the side of the van from this angle. Again, all pretty neat and tidy, isn't it? Now, on the driver's side, your driver's side rear light unit. We've got one in the office that's been delivered for this van, and obviously we haven't got around to fitting it. It's got a smashed unit on there at the moment. And we've got a brand new unit to go on there, so we'll get that sorted for you, okay? Driver's side rear bumper corner trim, that's all pretty good, which is another miracle for a boxer. And then round to the back of the vehicle, rear barn doors, 50-50 split, overall good condition. Um, give you a close-up of the individual doors. Yes, that is a little bit of blossom on the door there. But I suppose you've got your normal, we have a little minor mark here and here and a couple of touch-ins to do here. That's where people close the door the wrong way round. Rear bumper has factory parking sensors in it. It's seen a little bit of action in its time, but to be fair, it isn't in bad condition. Opening up your rear doors. Now, the, va the back of the vehicle um, has obviously been kitted out by the bloke that's been using it. Um, if you don't want any of this in it, it's not a major drama to, re to remove it all, all right? We have a skip, especially in at work, for all of this sort of stuff. Um, but inside, let's just give you a viewpoint. We have a three-drawer uh, three chest of drawers there that is uh, secured to the vehicle. And we have, um, I guess, a homemade rack on this side. <laughs> it just depends what you want to do with it, really. Um, I think the Valeta gave up in the back of the van, so this does need another clean, all right? We've got a lovely bit of carpet, a bit of pile carpet down there for you. Again, if you don't need that in it, in fact, no, it's actually built on top of the, the wood is built on top of it. I was going to say we can remove it, but it's been built on top of it, all right? You've got to apply flooring, flooring underneath. That rubber mat there, the Valeta's taken out the front. I think it is knackered, to be fair, so it's probably going to go in the skip. Um, you know, to be honest with you, it's all just down to the individual whether any of it is any use to you. A couple of sort of handy hooks on the back there. Inside of the rear doors, they've seen a bit of action, but I've seen worse. Um, and overall, pretty good. You've also got a roof vent up there as well. Bit of health and safety going on, look. Just in case you ever get trapped in the back of the van. Um, so, speak to us about that. You can have it as it is, or we can strip it all out. Rear light unit this side, that's all good. Rear bumper corner this side, passenger side, that's all good. Your passenger side rear bumper corner panel there, that's in good condition as well. And again, looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle, uh, yes, there's a little bit of a reflection on there, so still a nice polished finish to the van. Upper quarter this side, that's all looking good. Lower quarter this side, that's all looking good. Your sliding door rail is in good order as well. Your uh, passenger side rear steel wheel has elements of corrosion on it continental tire on this one so that does match your rear tire on the driver's side as well so you've got a pair of contis on the back um, sliding door this side again good overall condition getting down low check out the seals good overall condition your passenger door that's in good order as well uh, sliding door handles are good uh, again, let's open up your sliding door. Slide that back. You can see your door shuts are in clean and tidy condition. Your uh, sliding door rubber is all there as well. It's not looking too much of a mess where your sliding door rail is. Obviously factory bulkhead in it. And just giving you an overall view of the inside of the van from this angle really. Fuel flap, passenger side, lockable, hasn't been cleaned. Uh, we'll give the valeter a kicking. 
uh, passenger door, good overall condition. Mirror unit, minor scuff there, but in actual fact, it's all pretty present and correct. Again, another miracle for a boxer. And then your passenger side front wing, good overall condition. We have a factory steel wheel, minor elements of corrosion on there. Uh, we have a Michelin tire there, and that tire has that amount of tire tread depth on there. Probably the lowest one on the van, but I think that's still got plenty of life left in it. Where we are with tires, anything less than three mil, we replace the legal limit being 1.6. Door shuts, as you can see, have been valeted and are nice and clean. Inside your door shuts, we've got the couple of cup holders that just fit into these things here. Um, but your door trim is in overall clean and tidy condition. Uh, entry seals and plastics aren't in bad order as well. And look at that flooring. No hole on the driver's side. I mean, again, frankly, a miracle. It's made of paper mache normally, but that's why they run it with a rubber mat in, so it has saved your floor. A uh, glove box. Uh, we've got another glove box on the top here. Uh, headlining and your passenger seat trim. Again, good overall condition. There's your box under there with all your tool kit in. Uh, bonnet. Let's attempt to open that up one-handed. Get that like a pro. And then underneath your bonnet, hopefully you can see it's nice and tidy condition, isn't it? There's your airbox down there. Engine, dipstick, oil filler, brake fluid. And there's your coolant, the correct colored coolant for Boxer. There's no contamination in it. It's all looking neat and tidy, isn't it? And there we go. It's all neat and tidy underneath your bonnet, isn't it? Round to the driver's side. And your driver's side door card again is in good overall condition with no excessive signs of abuse. We have electric windows and mirrors and your central locking button there. Your door shuts again are nice and clean and tidy. Your entry sill, as I've already noted, could do with this little bit of painting there. But look at that driver's floor, not a mark on it. Pedal rubbers are good. Driver's side seat trim, that's all in good order as well. And then, just getting into the vehicle, let's close the door up. So, turning the ignition on. All the lights fire up, as you would expect. Uh, oil level's low, but obviously we're servicing it before it goes out the door, so we'll sort that out. Um, and does a systems check on it. Now it's just telling us where well, I haven't got my seat belt on and your handbrake is on, uh, and you've got 52,423 miles on the dash there. Instrument binnacle is nice and clean. The plastic's still clean and tidy on it. Um, it's not uh, full of dust and abused. There's your left hand stalk there is for your lights and indicators right hand stalk is for your wipers and then we have your cruise control and speed limiter on this one we have the multi-function steering wheel still got most of your factory texture on there so it's not worn through or anything six speed manual gearbox reverse gear all the way to the left and then forward and that will engage your reverse parking sensors all of your vents are in good order uh, we have this pretty cool system here. So this gives you DAB, FM and AM. It gives you the TomTom sat-nav unit as well. Um, and you've got Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Uh, we have the all important air conditioning, and then we have heated mirrors, central locking, hazard warning lights, uh, electronic stability, R for what I've got, I have no idea, but basically electronic stability program. Uh, your little glove box here, there's another USB power in there somewhere. There you go, down there. Um, in between your seats, have a look there. No old McDonald's in there or anything like that. And then your top of your dashboard. All looking pretty clean and tidy as well, isn't it? And that, my friends, is about it. So, there are 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reviews. We have reviews on our own website, vanstoday.com. Plus Google, Facebook. We've got in, uh, presence on Instagram and LinkedIn as well. Um, and if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest vans, feel free to like and subscribe. Do you have sleeping problems at night? If so, feel free to watch our videos. 
Um, but in all seriousness, thanks for watching the video. Any queries, uh, any issues, feel free to give us a shout. Bit of a rare van, this one, isn't it? L1H1 format. So, uh, yeah, be quick. These things do not hang on. Cheers, bye.